Oh, hallelujah. Someone said, what is it going to be like over there? Well, everybody will be happy.
and it reaches to the heights and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, it's the Pushing needles in me for timing. 
says, I don't know why God doesn't answer my prayer. Why is God like that to me? Well, if you're honest, you can tell the tone of their voice. Why? Bishop, haven't you ever questioned God? I'm not sure that I have. I've questioned me. What am I doing wrong? This isn't coming like the word says. Show me what I'm doing wrong. But I've known him too long to know. It's not him. It's not him. I might say, Lord, I don't understand. I can't explain why this happened. And if you want me to know, you will. And 
when I stop fussing about it, whether it be in a dream or in a different place, and there's a sudden revelation he'll always show me. But folks don't have such a man in this proud spirit. Why is it God answering the prayer? One lady called me last week. Said I can't be why I'm not being blessed. I even got so bad I held back my time. I said, Oh, you want to know why you're not blessed? She changed herself. God's never failed me. He's never let me down. He has never made me a promise that he's not trying to keep. And when the battle's over and the dust settles, I know it had nothing to do with you. I was going to preach today from Matthew's Gospel. I think it's the eighth chapter when a leper came to Jesus. Look it up, Patty. It's in the... Tell me what you find. Did you know there was never one Jew healed of leprosy? Since way back, when God gave the law of the leper to Moses. Naaman the leper wasn't a Jew. And that man, have you found it? What verse? Have you found the verse? That man so saw the miracle ministry of Matthew chapter 8, verse 1. When he came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him. Leprosy was the age of their day. It was such a curse that when you had leprosy, you couldn't live with your family. You couldn't go into church. They wouldn't let you in the church. They'd stop you at the gate. You couldn't be in the city after dark. They so feared that the leprosy would spread. They lived in leper colonies. Sometimes in caves. With their flesh rotting and their lives dying. Looking after themselves. No doctors, no nurses would touch them. The people of that day feared leprosy so much that if we were living like that today when you went downtown you'd have to carry your bell and ring it unclean 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 you know how you feel when somebody comes to your house full of disease my god you use so much jamex on the toilet it almost changes color <laughs> You look at certain cooks. It was worse. And in all his lifetime, in all the lifetime of all the lepers before him, they never saw one person ever healed of leprosy. But when that man met Jesus, and he heard his voice, and he experienced the Yababahataya, that anointing, whether it was in performing miracles or just the power of his voice. He said, Lord, if it's your will, if it's thy will, thou canst make me clean. He said, I don't go to your power. I saw it. I heard it. Well, the scribes and Pharisees argued that he was a bastard son of Joseph. My God, the demons and those that caught a glimpse of him began to worship him. They knew exactly what he was. They didn't have the 
theology, but no Jew worshipped anything but the Lord God unless they were completely backslidden into idolatry. Not like people in Regina today that know more than the prophet. Stole the prophets. And then on Aboriginal Day, after saying how good God's been to them, saying, oh, and it rained out, and I saw all those beautiful costumes. Maybe they were doing the rain dance. You better straighten up your act before you try to talk to me. If you belong to this church and you don't know the difference between that demon and anything else, I would keep it to myself. And I certainly wouldn't shoot off your mouth all over town and then to cry, try to correct this man of God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody's quiet. Glory to God. Everybody's quiet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And this man met Master. And he didn't have it all figured out, but he knew one thing. I'm worshiping him. This is God. There's something about him that's God. And he said, Jesus, if you want to, you could even make me whole. And you know what the Lord said? I will. I will. Lord, if you want to, you could set me free from this demon. I was going to call it an addiction. It's not an addiction. You treat it like an addiction. You call it like an addiction. You'll never be delivered. You are not an alcoholic. And will always be an alcoholic. And confess mess. What you confess, you're going to possess. It's sin. We used to call it sin in the old church. Now it's a disease today. It's sin. It's a devil that's got a hold of you. Oh, there's an element of drugs and God can heal that element. You need to be delivered. You need to look at your fat face in the mirror and say, I'm not playing games with God or anybody else. God set me free. <laughs> that man said, if it be thy will, and the Bible says, and Jesus said, put forth your hand. He touched him. He broke every religious law and commandment. He not only associated with him, he touched him. Now they would say, Jesus is unclean. He couldn't care less. Give me your hand. Stretch it up. And he said, it is my will. Be clean. And immediately he was healed. He was cleansed from leprosy. And Jesus said unto him, See thou go thy way, but go thy way, show thy... Oh, see thou tell no man. Don't tell anybody about this healing. But go thy way and show thyself to the priest and offer the offering. You've got your miracle, now don't hoard your money. You've got your settlement, now give an offering. Stop fooling around. Some of you have enough church and religious to be self-righteous, and you'd split hell wide open, and you better pray those horsemen he saw in the dream aren't riding tonight, because I'm gonna to tell you, you can jump as high as you want, you're not.